Good day, grade 7 learners! Today, we will learn how to plot irrational numbers on a number line. After going through this module, you are expected to plot irrational numbers up the square roots on a number line. I am Teacher Mika and I will be with you for this another Mathinic episode. Before we start, kindly prepare your module your pen and paper to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. In our previous discussion, you have learned how to estimate square roots of a whole number which are not perfect squares. Now, what we're going to do is to plot those estimations on a number line. But before that, let's have a quick recap on identifying two consecutive integers between which the given square roots lie. Name the two consecutive integers between which the given square roots lie. Letter A, square root of 2. Letter B, square root of 7. Letter C, square root of 28. Letter D, square root of 150. And letter E, square root of 41. You may pause the video while answering. Are you done? Let's check your answers. Letter A. Between which two consecutive integers does a square root of 2 lie? Alright, the answer is 1 and 2. Letter B. Between which two consecutive integers does a square root of 7 lie? Yes, it is between 2 and 3. Letter C. Between which two consecutive integers does a square root of 28 lie? Correct. Between 5 and 6. Letter D. Between which two consecutive integers does a square root of 150 lie? Correct. Between 12 and 13. And lastly, letter E. Between which two consecutive integers does a square root of 41 lie? Great. It is between 6 and 7. I hope you did great in answering this activity because again, this is an important skill that you should have mastered for you to understand our lesson for this day a lot easier. In plotting irrational numbers on a number line, we estimate first the square root of the given irrational number and to which two consecutive integers it lies in between. However, to make this estimation an easier task, we may use the conversion of radical numbers to fraction by approximation method. For example, convert the square root of 40 in fraction form. Step number 1. Find the two consecutive perfect square integers between which the given number lies. 40 lies between the two perfect squares 36 and 49. Step 2. Find the distance from each integer. Note the distance of the given radicand to the first integer is the numerator. 40 minus 36 is equal to 4. 4 will be the numerator. While the distance of the two perfect squares is the denominator. 49 minus 36 is equal to 13. 13 will be the denominator. Thus, 
The fraction form was 4 over 13. Step number 3. The square root of the first perfect square integer will be the whole number. That is, square root of 36 is equal to 6. And affix the fraction form 4 over 13 to form a mixed number. Thus, square root of 40 is approximately equal to 6 and 4 over 13. Or in decimal form, it is approximately equal to 6.31. Note that approximation method to fraction is just an approximate value. Although it is an irrational number, cannot be converted to A over B form, this method can be used in approximating its position in a number line easily. With that, we may now proceed to our main agenda for today, which is to plot irrational numbers. Letter A. Locate and plot square root of 3 on a number line. Step number 1. Find the two consecutive perfect square integers between which the given number lies. 3 lies between the two perfect squares 1 and 4. Step number 2. Find the distance from each integer. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 2 will be the numerator. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. That will be our denominator. Thus, the fraction formed was 2 thirds. Step number 3. The square root of the first perfect square integer will be the whole number. That is, square root of 1 is equal to 1. And affix the fraction form, which is 2 thirds, to form a mixed number. Thus, Square root of 3 is approximately equal to 1 and 2 thirds, or in decimal form, it is approximately equal to 1.67. And it will now be easy for us to locate its position on the number line. So in the number line, square root of 3 will be plotted closer to 2. Letter B, locate and plot square root of 21 on a number line. Step number 1. Find the two consecutive perfect square integers between which the given number lies. 21 lies between the two perfect squares 16 and 25. Step number 2. Find the distance from each integer. 21 minus 16 is equal to 5. 5 will be the numerator. 25 minus 16 is equal to 9. 9 will be the denominator. Thus, the fraction formed was 5 over 9. Step number 3. The square root of the first perfect square integer will be the whole number. That is, square root of 16 is equal to 4. And to fix the fraction formed 5 over 9 to form a mixed number. Thus, square root of 21 is approximately equal to 4 and 5 over 9, which in decimal form, it is approximately equal to 4.56, making it easy for us to locate its position on the number line. So in the number line, square root of 21 will be plotted slightly more than half of 4. And lastly, letter C. Locate and plot square root of 87 on a number line. Step number 1. Find the two consecutive perfect square integers between which the given number lies. 87 lies between the two perfect squares 81 and 100. Step number 2. Find the distance from each integer. 87 minus 81 is equal to 6. This will be the numerator. 100 minus 81 is equal to 19. It will be the denominator. Thus, the fraction formed was 6 over 19. Step number 3. The square root of the first perfect square integer will be the whole number. That is, square root of 81 is equal to 9. And the fix, the fraction formed 6 over 19 to form a mixed number. Thus, square root of 87 is approximately equal to 9 and 6 over 16. Or in decimal form, it is approximately equal to 9.32. Plotting it on the number line, we have... Congratulations, grade 7 learners! You did great in watching and listening. Now, 
Try answering the following questions for your practice. You may ask the help of your math teacher to check your answers. Plot the following on a number line using approximation method. Number 1, square root of 8. Number 2, square root of 33. Number 3, square root of 80. Number 4, square root of 95. And number 5, square root of 150. That ends our lesson today. See you on our next Matinic episode. Keep safe!